So Why Zombie just finished airing its fifth and final season. And um, because it's its final season, because it's a, it's a Vertigo comics property, which basically means it's DC Comics, I kind of consider Vertigo and DC one and the same, considering things like Watchmen and stuff are actually in the DC universe now. Um, so for that reason, I thought it'd be good to review it, because it's, it's over now. And um, iZombie's a show that I've been watching since around halfway through its second season, and I'll be honest, it's not exactly a show that I love. Um, I don't hate it or dislike it by any means, but it's just kind of a... Sh it's, it's another show in the endless list of TV shows I watch, um, and once the episode or the season's over, I kind of forget about it until it starts up again, but I enjoy it when I do watch it. But, you know, final season, thought it, it's a good opportunity to talk and review it and whatnot. Um, so the final season did something that was kind of what I was hoping it would do in some ways and not in another. Um, so the show kind of revealed way back in like season two that when the zombies they don't eat brains and they basically become like walking dead zombies but it was a plot line that the show very much tiptoed around the whole time they still stuck to the very procedural kind of freak of the week episode rather than actually delving into full zombiness and this season did tackle those in a big way but also in not so big way like they were always in the background of an episode and you could tell it was the ongoing plot of the season but they would still mainly do procedural episodes and um, even though the zombie thing was a big thing we also had a lot of focus on Liv's dad this season and that was another thing that tied into his zombie plot but at the same time it just kind of furthered on the freak of the week episodes and that was something I was a little bit disappointed about. What I'm trying to say is that the final season didn't really feel like a final season and um, it definitely still stuck to the same pattern and just all around the same stuff that it's done for the past four seasons. I know you shouldn't really expect a show to change for its final season, but I was expecting something more final. There's something more like closure in this season and it didn't really give me that. Even the final episode, the way the final episode ended, it did a 10 year jump, which is a something CW shows do a lot with their final episodes. They jump 10 years into the future. But with iZombies one, even where it left off, it didn't feel final like they're them showing the characters 10 years in the future it didn't really feel like 10 years had passed it just felt like another random part of the episode it also just felt like it was setting up for another season it didn't feel like it was setting up for them to really go off on their own part of, part of their lives it felt like they were setting up new stories which was very kind of weird to me i enjoyed it i just th feel like it should have felt more like the end of a show rather than what they did that said, there's also characters like Blaine and Donnie and stuff who've been big parts of this show since the early season. Like, Blaine's been a big part of the show since episode one. And his storyline just ended very suddenly. There was no build-up to it. There was no, like, big... This character's been basically the villain the whole time. But his ending just felt... It didn't feel like an ending. Like, it was an ending, but it didn't feel like an ending. If that makes sense. Um, I wasn't really happy with what they did with that. There were a lot of episodes this season I did enjoy. And honestly, saying that this is probably one of the better final seasons of a TV show I've seen. Just because, like most final seasons of TV shows, they kind of stray too far into the fact that this is their final season. And they kind of... they they I think the writers, they get too ahead of themselves. And like when they were like, okay, this is the final season. We have to try and do as much as we can. Or we have to try and do all of these big things. Um, and because of that, it, they end up tripping over their own writing and whatnot and falling over. iZombie instead very much stuck to what they've been doing the whole time. And because they didn't do anything different or they didn't do anything new, it meant that they didn't really get caught up on the problems that a lot of other final seasons have for shows. So for that reason alone, it is still an enjoyable season. It's just... It doesn't feel like a final season. Uh, but I did enjoy it for what it was, and I think I would give this season overall maybe like a 6.8 or a 6.9 out of 10. You know, it's not bad, it's not terrible, just a little bit underwhelming, but still fun and good where it needed to be. Um, the acting was still great, the characters were still great. I mean, the characters make this show, to be honest. I never really watched it for the plotline because the plotline didn't interest me too much. I mainly watched it to see all the characters interact and seeing what wacky brain Liv would be on today, which was always kind of fun. But um, yeah, uh, it's kind of what I thought of this season. Um, do you watch High Zombie? Did you enjoy it? Did you like the season? Um, let me know. Uh, if you've got ideas for Marvel or DC videos you'd like me to do, please let me know and I would love to do them. Um, if you like the video, please like, share, subscribe and all that. And I hope you have an awesome day.